Hello there and welcome to another video from Change Tips and Tools and today I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic calendar in Power Query where the user can change the start and finish date of that said calendar without having to go into Power Query. So first I'm going to create my start and finish dates so I'm going to do start here I'm going to do finish let's put the start of my calendar so I'm going to make it the 1st of January 2024 and to the 31st of January 2024 and hit return I'm then going to select the first row there and do control T to turn it into a table. So my table has headers. And what I'm going to do is sometimes when you're making changes to this, you might accidentally add a blank row by pressing tab on finish. Um, so let's include that blank row and make sure Power Query can handle it. Also on the table ribbon, I'm going to give this a meaningful name in the table name. So I'm going to call this table date range in there and hit return and then on the data ribbon with this table selected i'm going to do from table and range so there are my my two dates my start and my finish and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say remove blank rows so it gets rid of those nulls and hit return well, select it and you can see over here it's removed the blank rows I'm then going to add a custom column where this is where I'm going to create my list of dates using the start and the finish date here so I'm going to do add column custom column and I'm going to call this custom column date and I'm going to create a list so I'm going to do an open curly bracket and then I'm going to start typing number from. So I can't, I can't do it directly from you know, the start and the finish. I need to convert this to a number. So I'm going to use the number from. A little tip here when you're trying to type these things out. Don't put the full stop. Just type the first letter, the next bit, and it will come up for you there. So number from, open bracket, and I'm going to choose start. And I'm going to close that bracket. I'm then going to do the two full stops to identify a from and to range. And again, I'm going to start typing number from, and there it is. I'm going to select it, do open bracket, and select finish. And then close that bracket, and then close the curly bracket. I've got no syntax errors, and I'm going to click OK. So now I've got this list. If I click to the right, you'll see there's my list of dates and these are in serial number format at the moment. So let's convert this to a date. So on the home ribbon or the transform ribbon, I'm going to take the data type with that column selected. And the first thing I'll do is I'm going to expand it and then I'm going to convert it to a date. So let's expand it using the outward facing arrows and do expand to new rows and then change it to a date that data type and there you go we've got our dates so now i'm going to right click on this and say remove other columns so now let's add some other things now which is really great about power queries i can add some columns from this date so i'm going to do add column and then from date or time i'm going to do the drop down so let's take the the year so there's the year so let's select the date column again and again, I'm going to choose the date. I'm going to do the year and I'm going to go down to quarter and take the quarter of the year. So we can see we've got this is in quarter one of 2024. I'm going to select the date and again do the drop down. And this time I'm going to take the, the month. Put the date again. And let's bring in the month name as well. So let's do that. So I've got January. Then let's uh, let's bring in um, the the day. So let's bring the week number as well. So let's bring in the week 
of the year. So we know what week it is of the year, the week number. We select that date again, the drop down, and let's bring in the day name here. I don't like the long day name here, so I'm going to highlight the day name there. I'm going to do transform, and I'm going to extract the first few characters. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to select three and do OK. That just changes it to um, Monday, M-O-N for Monday, T-E-U for Tuesday, etc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this my calendar. And hit return. And then on home, yeah, I'm going to do uh, close and load. And there you go. So I've now got my calendar there with my dates, etc. So if I go to the sheet here, and let's change this to the let's do the thirty first oh three uh, two four. Yeah, and let's just go to here and do refresh or on the ribbon here, do data refresh. And there you go, it's added February and I've got March and so on. You can see what the months, etc. Let's let's take this to let's do the 31st of uh, the 12th, 2025. Refresh all. And you can see it's added the rows over here. And if I go over to the calendar, there's my calendar with the year, the quarter of that year, what month, the month name, etc. All the way through 2024 into 2025. And that's how you create a calendar in Power Query that the user can change the date range interactively. I hope that has been helpful and informative. If so, please remember to click that like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button for future content. And as always, I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Please take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video from Change Tips and Tools. Bye-bye now.